Welcome to the Hong Kong Baptist University Academy of Visual Arts. I'm Emanuele Tesserodo, the president of Cinque Vie Milan, the association who's uh, um, organizing these uh, meetings. A big thanks, as you know, goes to Stefano Fossati, the director of Istituto Italiano di Cultura in Hong Kong. You can follow our work on the site Design Made in Hong Kong or on our social channels, Instagram and Facebook. Now it's time for me to introduce to you Annalisa Rosso, our creator. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Emanuele. Thank you, everybody, for being here. It, this is our last uh, webinar, last meeting, and I'm super excited because this is, how can I say, the climax uh, of our of our um, webinar uh, um, series. And uh, of course, as we said, the main goal uh, is the exhibition at Milan uh, that, as we know, it's in September, the next September. So we will speak uh, soon about the next steps, the next uh, um, working step that are expecting us. But for the moment, please enjoy this uh, last meeting. And uh, I'm happy that the dialogue and the conversation between Milan and Hong Kong is taking such a good shape. And thank you, everybody. Thank you, Sara. Enjoy. Thank you so much. I'm very, very happy to, to be here with you, like always, this hour, this, in this hour third uh, webinars together. Today I will be very, very, very uh, interested and curious in discovering all the works of the students. And so we can have a, a talk and, and, and discuss a little bit no, about all the projects and the ideas and, uh, and the concepts. It would be uh, lovely to share some thoughts together. So I'm um, Happy to see your presentations, guys. Okay, cool. Um, I'm just gonna start sharing um, the presentation, um, which will have, um, we have three groups of um, students' works and um, two of them will be on this um, presentation now and then I'll share another one afterwards. So, um, hi everyone, my name is Evelyn Kwok. Um, I'm a research assistant professor at ABA. Um, myself and assist, um, associate professor Annie Wan is, um, we are the coordinators for this project with ABA. And we have um, some really interesting um, work right now to show you guys in terms of um, what we're thinking of putting forward for Milan Design Week as well as Hong Kong Design Week for 20. 21. So um, without further ado, um, I'm guessing you guys can see the screen. Yes. Should I go full view? Um, okay. So we're going to start with um, the first group. Um, yeah. Why are you ready? Oh, yeah. Great. Thank you. Okay. Come. Um, my group's idea is we thinking uh, living in a materialistic world and called uh, we are different uh, different dis uh, difficult choices and we always uh, lost ourselves from it and all material change in our daily life uh, is more in uh, comparison with those in out of a uh, spiritual life so we uh, plan to make a five piece of uh, continuous and put the water and uh, one ceramic stone in the each uh, container and make a sound and then recording the sounds and then ex uh, play it during the exhibition. So uh, the sounds is same like the singing bowl and then uh, the, the stone uh, represent uh, every unit creatures including us holding oneself in the same uh, circle of the life which is uh, the, the container and then uh, the sound uh, would be a different as uh, the connection with to us so the uh, every sound of container will be different and because of the size of the stone and then the volume of the water and the thickness of the, the container also. So, and the sound, in the exhibition, the sound will be uh, 
repeat and and close and then disappears. Seems like the the every uh, creature's life process, and so we want to the audience to think about deeply about the uh, relationship between the material life and the spiritual life. Yeah, and can you pass the between the the the, the uh, in the slide we. Uh, uh, some photo uh, show up uh, about uh, the the process and the research. Yeah, the the first image is uh, I sh want to show the uh, the student how to make the plaster mold because uh, we want to make a five pieces container is same size, so we want to make a the the container as the as through the the, the plaster mold. And the last picture is uh, uh, we making the bread container by slip casting. And then the next slide is the we want to show the, the how to exhibit the, the, the our project and some unfiring ceramic stone. And the last image is uh, we want to do the the test piece for the how's the sun going on. So and then the next slide, yeah. The, this is uh, one of the final pieces, and then, uh, and then the the, the schedule is uh, about how to expect the the installation. We want to make a process and uh, uh, put the sound player inside, and then the the motion. Uh, sensor will connect with the sound player, so the someone to pass by maybe the sound will will go out, uh, will play the sound and then yeah. This is uh the detail of our installation this place yeah. Cool, thank you. Um, should we move on to the next one and then we'll hear from your comments after. Zara or others, yeah, we'll do the next one first. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. We, um, thank you very much. Very interesting. But if I can, Evelyn, I would love to make um, because I'm, you know, <clears throat> it's very fresh for me. So I prefer to go directly on it, and then we move. So we create yeah. a presentation comments because we remember all the details and then we move to another one. Uh, how many groups do we have? Three. Three, perfect. So, um, it's uh, an amazing exploration about this, uh, it's, a, it's a very spiritual object and it gives to you uh, this feeling of timeless, no? this timeless feeling uh, to be calm and uh, um, I do love the, you know, this, uh, this shape with this uh, ceramic stone that stays in, in the middle of the water, uh, beautifully done. Um, my point uh, is, why did you choose, uh, for example, for the exhibition, five spot why the number of five together yeah we we think uh, about it before we uh, make a decision in we do uh, some uh, research about the uh, the knowledge of uh, buddhist and the five of the meaning is um as uh, five material or metal factors which means um, uh, first of all the form and uh, sensation and, and perception and metal formation formation and then the last is uh, the the consciousness. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So we have this kind of um, so these five elements should suggest to us um, five feelings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why the sensor? Can I ask you that? Like for me, at the beginning, you said something like 
in this moment of super digital you know vibes going around we do mm -hmm. have to stay on our uh, screen we do have to uh, stay with our phone everyone is like this i love that some people are like this also now that we are talking why you should stay on your phone girls leave it leave your phone i mean now we are together you don't have to stay with your phone leave it the the rest of the world can wait for you hmm? now we are talking together so i don't care about all the other jobs that i have because now it's us so or my boyfriends or my mother who cares? Now we it's together. I do love to always underline the fact that too much technology. <laughs> anyway, in uh, your exhibition, so it would be lovely in the presentation to understand why we have five, you know, um, containers. That I will not call containers actually, but it's now we, we arrive to that. Why do we have five mm -hmm, sculpture? So let's write it down because it's uh it's uh, it's interesting to understand it. Then why a sensor movement? So you are talking about uh the balance of the the spirit, no, you are talking about soul. Uh, soul, uh, why do I have to pass by and then have a sensor that gives to me uh, the sound that appears like uh, while you are talking on something that is completely different, like on the opposite side? This is a question, huh? it's not a... Can you add that there? Sorry? <clears throat> Sorry? Uh, why with your pieces that yeah. are so spiritual that talks about the balance of yourself mm -hmm. why should I have in the exhibition like in this slide I see a motion sensor mm -hmm. so you said you pass by and the sound start. Yes. Why? Um, first of all, uh, be, uh, before that, we have an idea is uh, we want to the people to press the button and then some equipment will rolling and then to make a sound. But this is uh, quite difficult for us. So we changed the idea like that. Uh, to make a motion sensor and then the people people pass by will have a sound and then uh, the sound is the the main point of our our project uh, Steve, to... uh, which, which sound how do you produce a sound with your sculpture yes 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 how, we, how we... do you produce a sound with your sculpture uh, we will, uh, before that, we will uh, recording the sound using the wood uh, heat the container and then recording the sound. And then, yeah, and then in the exhibition, we will show this sound. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. for me, like from my point of view, yeah, these two things that you are saying. For me, in, my, in a brainstorming, mm, mm -mm. would not actually work together very well because mm. the concept. Can you go on the first slide? Let me check. Let me see if you wrote a concept. Material life matters or not? So this is the title. Yes. Material life matters or not? So here, I would love that you write the concept. So the, the story has to be very, very, very clear. Because 
you were saying something about um, escaping technology, isn't it? Yeah. So for me, it's weird then the sound it's something that is very connected with technology uh, for me it's very weird that i that i go into you know what i mean it's a paradox we say so if you want to create if you want to create something um, if your story wants to talk about the disconnection from technology about something related to materials to the quality of of matters to the quality of um, i don't know it's your concept then for me it's a bit difficult to, to understand why should i receive the water sound thanks to a recording uh, device i mean I think that maybe I can receive the sound directly from your sculpture. Maybe I can move the water. Maybe there is a gesture. Maybe there is a little something that is more related with with, with the body. Mm -hmm. Or if your concept goes more in the matter. We don't need the matter anymore. We don't need, you want to create something about, uh, you know, a, a suggestions, um, a suggestion about, uh, um, also a sound machine can be, eh? uh, I don't know. It, it can be many things. The point that for me, the concept at the beginning has to be very clear about which message should I receive me as a you know a person that comes to your exhibition I enter the exhibition I see your pieces what should I understand from your exhibition which is the concept very it has to be very very clear you know what I mean yeah so for me, the object right now, it's a very uh, poetic, it's very well balanced. Uh, I find it very um, intimate, no? like a very spiritual. But I don't understand exactly now. So, okay, the object, perfect, but now, in my opinion, we should make a, a step more into, okay, I want to display the object like this. Why? Who, uh, um, the, the title. What the title wants to suggest me, which is the concept. Hmm? The sound. Why it's a recorded sound or why, I don't know, eh? Mm, how do I move inside? So I enter and what happened? So this is very uh, interesting to create questions for yourself in order to understand how people would receive your installations and your objects and your concept, your message. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Questions? Guys, if someone wants to say something about it. Sorry, sorry. Someone wants to say something. Also someone else from your class. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. No, no. I I can I can add just just um, uh, one word. I, I totally agree with you, Sara. It is a very intimate and suggestive uh, project that can be even more powerful with your with your point of view. Totally agree. Thank you. It's very nice.
Perfect. So why? Why? Do I'm pronouncing well your name? Yeah, correct. Nice. Why? So the project is a uh, great go to um, sketch more about the exhibition, sketch more, you know. Um, so I enter a space. Ah, look. Nice. I have also water inside, huh? Ah, amazing. So because water has vibration, I do love stones, I have many here as, as much as you want. The point is, I arrive, no, you know, a person arrive in a space with, with your sculpture, please don't call it container. It's a, such a pity for our life to listen that these are containers. These are uh, <laughs> these are uh, amazing uh, um, sculptures. But the point is um, how people arrive and how do they move inside it, and which is the connection. What do I have to understand? Okay, the sensor and it and something, but then what? Mm, I don't know. The water, the water is there. Why should I have recorded some water? But it's interesting. It's interesting. You know, I remember people. I remember a fountain in which, um, in a temple, do you remember that kind of spoon? Um, uh, before temples to wash your hands, yeah. there are uh, stone sink, very big stone sink with some spoons that you take it and you can listen the, um, the sound of you can listen the sound of the water is very very intimate and and interesting my point is uh, is just to let you think let you think more about people as well when you produce something it's also a message. It's something for someone else. What do they have? What they have to do? What do they have to understand? Yeah. Are you okay? Why is it? Um, yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So remember always the passage. Um, if the, uh, uh, these sculptures are a barrier or if you have to, um, the, the, you know, the strategy, how you display it. The stones are, which colors the stones are? Because here I can see the white one and then I see black one. Yeah. Tell me more. There is a reason of colors, for example. Mm, it just uh, maybe the visual edit. Mm, maybe we will now we not sure which color yet. But yeah, I think this is the color for us is not important. Yeah. What is not important? Like the color of the stone. Mm, well, so maybe, maybe everything you... is very important. I can <laughs> yeah. imagine this. Imagine this. If you have okay, I give you an example. If not, you, you don't understand. Oh, 
Okay. <clears throat> so I have my black, my black stone here, another black stone here, another black stone here. You have you have five stone, no? Because you have a five sculpture. One, two, three, four. Okay. So you have your five stones and then you have a white element. Mm -hmm. So stones are black and then one is white. When you enter a space, okay, when you enter a space in which you, you have your container with your stones inside and then you have the white the container with the white element inside people immediately understand something you know because everything has to be soaked in the projects also the colors is a meaning you know so the attention of people goes directly into the white one so with colors you can explain many things it's very important the color you choose so if the bowl is black the water will be cow for example if the bowl is red the uh, now why me and alisa said to you that it's an intimate project because you have chosen shapes and colors that guides us in that direction but if you choose for example the, a red you know container with a completely different stones you can change completely my feelings and this just with shapes and colors so why never answer me anymore in your life <laughs> <laughs> that color um, I mean ca casu um, uh, ca um, if you know when you work with materials it's amazing because everything can happen no not every time we need to find an explanation but it's important, it's important to, to think about details. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Yatwai. Should we move on to the next project? Sure. Okay, Ryan, you guys ready? So, um, hi. <laughs> hi. 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 Ciao. For our teams, uh, we create uh, a series of footwear set with the uh, design, which is uh, strange and inconvenient for people to use. And this idea comes from our experience in this COVID. Um, situation we maintain the social distancing and we took a step back and returned to our home and returned to the familiar self cooking life. So, when you pick up the daily uh, footwear, all the comfortable experience will make you wonder about the beauty of this uh, functional wear and we question about what is a good design. There are many ceramic wares in daily life. So what is the 100% perfect footwear? And in the process of the creations, we think about like uh, what is good and what is bad. And we hope to create objects with 10%, 10%, 30% um, or 40% perfect. 
and the inventions of the of these functional wares is for the convenience of human life and people continue to improve the, the size of the wares but some strange and weird um, design change the essence of the essential like purely for the convenience of human and lack basic ecological design and we aim to we aim to evoke the nature of daily attention by designing this 15 dimensional where they are not uh, really user friendly and in nowadays what we do is full of the ridiculous things happen every day so we just uh, want to show uh, want to show the what is normal or what is good uh, by this uh we designing uh uh, utensil. So, um, that's all. Oh. And for the display, yeah, and for the display, we have think about two pens. For the pen A, we would like to, uh, to display like a, uh, in the order, and then, uh, for each pieces, there will be a small screen in front of the pieces that we will, um, uh, we will be recording some videos to show how the objects in use and to, uh, the video is about a few seconds to show the, uh, to the audience how we use uh, the, this uh, strange Google Wears. Uh, and, and for the pen B, we would uh, like to display like a dining table yeah, and, and each, each uh, Table where you will put in like a set, like uh, you have a, you have thing a di a diet with some strangers tools, and there will be a projection uh, on the on the screen that also show uh, every pieces uh, of the uh, of the video that we are using these tools. Yeah, and it's like it's like that. Nice, thank you. So, can we start from the first? Uh, useless tableware. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting. Also, here I would love to read a concept uh, that explains you know, uh, your your project is very important to write down the the concept. Uh, and then, to, just to quickly interrupt. Um, yeah, they do. We did have a document that had um, the concepts written. Now, I just thought for the presentation, I didn't put the intention um, in text. I just wanted to explain that. But I can definitely send you a document after this, which has the written part as well. Ah, it has it. Ah, uh, but you, you sent it to me before. Yeah, there was one a while ago, but that's okay. I can send you another one after this. That's what the words nice. as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, because I would love to 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 read it in the in, in in the presentation. It's very nice to have the title, the concept, the storming process and pictures and display. Very um, so you understand everything. Pam 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 pam. Um, uh, can we go in the, in the other? Um... Okay. So you started to analyze um, daily um, daily gestures. I think around the table. No. So uh, uh, you talked about the. Mm, the quantity, isn't it? So that maybe nowadays we are eating a very large quantity of, of food. That's why some shapes that you have have, um, have holes inside or have these, um, you know, these shapes in which you can pour just few liquid, a few amounts of liquid, isn't it? Do I am right? Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, okay. 
perfect. So, why do I do I have a curing tea uh, pot with two mouth? Wow. Um, to create a sense of ridiculous in this um, pandemic world because um, we decide to create a series of um, uncomfortable tableware so if there's a two valve in a teapot maybe um, it's hard or it's hard to, it's hard to um, um, deliver the tea to the audience or the guests Okay, so it's very important to understand why do I have to create useless things, no? Do I want to make fun of the tableware? Do I want to work on little portions of something, little quantities, for example? Or it's, it's very mm, important to be concentrated on a message that is going to be powerful that is going to be very in, um, immediately, I receive it immediately. Can I go to the, to the picture where, uh, where I have? Okay. Mm, so very nice that you were drawing everything and then uh, making it lovely, uh, lovely fork. So this is an uncomfortable fork. Will be very interesting to have also uh, an, uh, uh, pictures that play with, with people that play with your objects, like, like a, an uncomfortable dinner, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. in this way, your display, it's a bit museum, you know, it's a bit Okay, I made it. But your concept is much more funny. It's much more uncomfortable table where it's uh, um, how do I have to feel uncomfortable? In which way? So, for example, for me, it would be interesting I immediately understand something, for, for example, I would study, you know, how you create tableware all around the world, you know, like uh, in, uh, in, in China, maybe you, you display the, for example, in Italy, we do like this, the first dish, and then we have the second, and then we have, uh, and then I have glass, the, 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 the tall glass, the small glass, and then I have uh, fork, spoon, um, napkin. Mm -hmm. So when I look at it, I have uh, immediately, I understand a, a tableware set, no? A common one. Now you are actually preparing something to uh, go out from the comfort zone, no? Uh, to create something that is completely, um, you know, to suggest the uncomfortable. But I would love to um, feel more the, uh, how uncomfortable is it looking like, looking at a display of a real tableware. You know what I mean? Um, because the photo is just for a presentation, so we will record some video like we're playing the tunes like the tableware in the video. So uh, I think would be that uh, would be better. Yeah, remember always that pictures are more important than videos. And, uh, you have to do first pictures for the communication part. It's always a matter of pictures. I do have to understand everything with static images. And then 
also videos are very important, but I have to, um, uh, it, it's a second step, no? So uh, here I see many forks, uh, I see a spoon, uh, I see some, uh, some spoons. I don't see a knife, maybe you don't have to use it, but it's, it's interesting to understand what are you doing on the table where, no? Then you have uh, cups, and then you have pewing tea. What is the um, in on the back? You have a bowl with a, a, a yes, exactly that one. Uh, What's that? Uh, it's a bowl that cannot contain a lot, uh, a lot of food. And limited of the plate. Okay. It's a plate, it's a bowl, a plate I can put rice inside, for example. Pardon? Can I, can I put rice inside, like food inside? It's a plate? And sure, sure. Nice, okay. So it's, um, um, it's an interesting project. Um, in my opinion, you can push it more. Okay. Okay. Um, investigating, you know, you should, in my opinion, uh, you are a group of four people. Yes. Start to eat just in your things, in your objects. Make, uh, make breakfast, uh, lunches with your objects. Start to understand if they are working, how you can improve it, how you can make a shape, how can you make an amazing tableware, you know, with your uncomfortable tableware, no? Your useless tableware. That actually is not very useless, it's more... Because actually you can use it, or not. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> it's useless or uncomfortable? We... because on one hand I see cups in which I can eat so it's not useless or in that plate I can eat in the spoon with holes mm. it, it's interesting to understand everything no? to, to, to make um, uh, to understand every object why has that shape how do I create the table where useless uncomfortable uncomfortable wood what do I want to say to to my um, to to the people? No, in an exhibition. Inconvenience, inconvenient rather than abuse. Ah, ah, <laughs> much better, much better. So be inconvenient. Go to search about what inconvenient means, and push the inconvenient as much as you can. You know what I mean. If, if you if you love something, you need to love as much as you can. If you hate something, you have to hate as much as you can. If you uh, uh, if you are inconvenient, you need to be inconvenient as much as you can. You know, it's a it's pushing the value in order that the other person that are coming to the exhibitions without videos without pictures they already immediately understand the value of your exhibition then we have pictures and videos and you can be there and talk amazing but if your object talks you know if your object explain the value because are powerful 
Luin. Ok? Ok. Thank you, super thank you. So, take a word, take a word and push it and understand how to translate into the uh, uh, into your objects and start to don't just make the objects play the story you are creating eat go to, make the table i mean go you are together make a dinner together a breakfast whatever invite your grandma your and and and, and you know analyze the pro the process see what happened on the table and define the shape so this is the third presentation thank you sarah um thank you guys um can you guys see the powerpoint sure i can okay. Cool. Okay. Gaho, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Hi, yes, yes. So shall we okay. start now? Yes, please. Okay. So our topic is based on the timescape. Uh, so I will introduce some uh, uh, background for the whole presentation flow. I will introduce the background first and then the idea development and format. And then I will show you some sketches about our idea and the process and then the final outcome. And uh, uh, last point uh, is what we want people to think about this art project. So, uh, so um, and this year, uh, they have a lot of social event and also the virus uh, around the world. All the, um, our jobs or some business, they shut down suddenly. And then seems like the 2012, uh, the times is frozen. 20. Yes, 2020. <laughs> yeah, <sorry. laughs> yeah, and the facing this um, uh, event, so we felt like we are floating in the uh, endless sea. So everything we is being unknown and all the things like they have a huge different, different uh, change. And then, so we want to do some, uh, that's why we have a idea to match with the ceramics is um, uh, uh, slip casting. Slip casting, mm -hmm. yes. So uh, where slip casting is a ceramic forming technique that uh, slip cast, uh, clay slip attach and form the clay layer in the surface of the plaster mold. After filling up the plaster mold with clay slip, no, we, we, we will pour out all the, the clay slip from the mold. And uh, after several minutes where the clay uh, layer was formed, so in this project, we try to uh, keep the slip inside the plaster mold until the slip is uh, totally dry out. So the clay slip will keep losing its water contents as it's absorbed by the mold. So it will leave, leaving the contour line pattern on the surface of the hardened clay body. So it's just, uh, it's like a, a time skate. So you can see the sketches here. So uh, from, the, uh, from the left Back hand side. side, so you can see that the, uh, the water content is actually losing. So it is forming the contour line, the time skate inside the uh, plaster mold where the pl plus demo is actually like the time capsule to capture all the time. So where our feeling is just like, like the uh, clay slit that's flowing on the, uh, on the top, uh, on, uh, inside the uh, plaster mode. Hmm. And you can see the form, we are choosing a lot of like the organic form to represent our idea. Um, you can see they have uh, enough bottom area and the top of the uh, shape, they contain like, they have a little drip shape here, which is represent like an extension, like uh, everything being like a uh, identical extent for everything, like a social event or even though like our life, everything being unknown, that which is have a lot of uh, possibility for our um, development. So, uh, and also you can see, this is the process of uh, our work. 
and then after you put it in the cluster and then through the time pass and pass and then do absorb a lot of water to create like a uh, crack inside so we'll create like a timescape inside like a landscape and then we will call this like a timescape uh, to show this uh, environment to people it's just like a record of our the time of uh, 2020 hmm. it's just like a frozen time and if you move uh, can see inside you can see they have a lot of crack and then just like uh, one layers and then cover another layers and just like the times pass by so as the crack here maybe is also depicting that uh, implying that maybe the frozen time should uh, start to crack and should move forward And so it is our uh, ex exhibition display draft. So I would like to uh, spread it out so people can look at, uh, go around and look inside uh, the crack and also the quantum line inside. So I won't. I don't want to place this in a large uh, exhibition boxes so people can see each of the quantum line uh, inside the. Uh, uh, each object and also you can see the shape which is similar to the eight shape so we also uh, which is a metaphor about uh, that we can uh, have a lot of possibility in this uh, environments like such as uh, everything shut down so people do have a lot of time to develop what their interests and also to develop what they want and then they have a more time they have a they become have more time to do what they want to do in this period. Hmm. So, uh, wait, 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 wait. So, the, uh, so what we want people to think about is uh, like that. So it's a uh, we implying that time was still inside the plasma mold where the place that forms some landscape inside. So during the great st uh, stagnation, st stagnation, we start to feel that this is the time for us to accumulate some thought towards life. So like the clay formed from the slit. So the time escapes may become the record and the reflection of this peculiar time in our lifetime. And you can see uh, in front of my bag and then lower bag and here is the, our work. And we prefer to using the minimalist uh, style to represent uh, a hold, uh, the hold our work because we want people to focus on uh, the landscape more rather than the glaze. You know, ceramics they have a lot of glaze, a lot of color to choose. So we only want to use like a minimalist, like a, a monotone color to represent uh, the whole things and to let people focus inside area like this. Can you see here and here and they have a lot of, lot of work and some of them this they are one? cracked inside i'm not sure is it clear to see that but yeah no we can <laughs> already see show some picture on the ppt and yeah and this is our presentation, presentation. yes any questions <laughs> <laughs> of course, yes. <laughs> so, mm, very interesting concept, and it's uh, mm, uh, well explained. Uh, love the presentation with all these steps. No, uh, the concept, the sketch, the um, from where uh, where you started. Uh, mm, interesting about you know ceramic has many colors but we want to be focused on that so we need the monotone totally fine it works very well um it remembers me uh you know uh crackled head eggs you know yes and when because every time human being has to face with lots of crackle you know like lots of uh, um oddio ferita uh, 
Uh, one second. Scarce. 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 Ferita. Won't. Uh, where are you now? Sometimes, okay. I, sometimes I lose. Uh, <laughs> uh, I lose the. Um, <laughs> where are you now? Incredible. I can disappear in one second. So you should be somewhere here. Yes, I, yeah, uh, yeah, I know that you are there, but I need to see you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, the point is, um, we uh, in our life, it's always a matter of you know um, cracking uh, of broken things, and then uh, newborns. You know, so it's uh, always we are constantly in this path in which everything has um, has uh, some some difficult difficulties to face, and it's very interesting this inner space that you are creating. So it's interesting that your ob objects will be on the ground, yeah, like not on the ground but on a low level. Yes. Yeah. In order to people to see it from the top, so this is very important. It's a very interesting prosthetic. Um, and and then um, I like a lot uh, the static. I I think that you can keep on. Uh, researching you can keep on researching about um, cracking and shapes in my opinion would be very very powerful if there are many of it yes we are making no. <laughs> absolutely yes yes um, it's interesting to see the difference the differences between no everyone has the same process, but at the same time everyone is completely different. Yes. So the point is to to keep on researching on the on the shape. For example, you have one shape that is uh, you have something more round and something that is it it remember. Uh, it remember me more like a shell. No. You have um. Um. You have, and then you have a shape that goes like. So I saw you while you were, so there was a shape that was more round oh, yeah. and a shape that it's more mm, geometric. Yes. Mm. In my opinion, the power of your concept is to keep, because you are creating the slip casting, so you have a mold. Yes, yes. So it's very powerful if the, the, the mold has less or more always the same round shape, you know, and then you show how it crackles, how it cracks differently, how the landscape in every mold is completely different, you know? Uh -huh. You're saying the same mold for the Using the same mold, right? Imagine, we are, every one of us, we are seven million of people and everyone is original, you know what I mean? Like, the point mm. you you were talking about at the beginning of, about protest people yes. that are angry people that want to say something 
So let's um, let's understand the concept. Instead of having uh, 10, 12 molds, no? Mm -hmm. It's interesting to, to keep it. Sometimes if you cut out, you, you, you become more lighter and more powerful. So if the mold is concentrated on mm, a round shape that uh -huh. all the time crackle in different ways and create a different landscape, for the people that arrive to the exhibition, is much more clear that we are the same and we are not the same. We are original. Guys, did you disappear? Maybe. Oh, they, must have, they must have lost connection. Ah, I think so. <laughs> oh, no. No. Uh, I think maybe they'll come back. So I'll just see if. In any case, it's all recorded. Ah, nice. So, guys, you know, you you know what I mean. Uh, I'm one of the group, mate, and yeah, I can keep receiving the message. Perfect. Guys, we can't hear you, huh? I tell you. I I suppose that you are talking because I... Ah, but he made it like this, so he can't hear us. Maybe. Evelyn, you, you can uh, explain to them these um, things I said. Oh, I mean, is it recorded? Yeah. I mean, I think they got most of it anyway. I think it's pretty clear in terms of, you know, the form and how they can take that forward to make it more powerful. For sure. Yeah. Thanks, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Evelyn. And uh, thank you so much. I think we have finished. Sarah, do we want to add something? Evelyn, do we want to add something? Everybody want to add something? If not, I thank you very much. It has been truly inspiring. I'm super excited with the idea of having you in Milan and going on working on that together. And uh, speak soon and congratulations for your work. Thank you, Sarah. Bye bye. Have a lovely bye, day. Everybody. Ciao. Bye. Thank you again. Bye.